three, two, hello, 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 and welcome to Keeping It Real Cooking with Lisa. I'm Lisa, this is my kitchen, and welcome. Tonight, we are going to be making, or today, or tomorrow, whatever time you're watching this, we're making Epicure's Tropical Pineapple Chicken. Yes! And this is my first time making it, and I'm really excited to share it with you. So I have all of my ingredients ready. Um, instead of rice, I'm going to be doing quinoa. I got a couple peppers, a red onion, some fresh snap peas, some pineapple, um, water, and nourish broth to put to cook my quinoa in, and I have my chicken. So let's get started. First things first. Do do do. Um, there we go. I just want to prop up my recipe. So thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Um, if you are new to Epicure, Epicure has been around for over 25 years. It's very new in the United States and it has so many nutritional values. But what I want to tell you is this steamer, the multi-purpose steamer is the bomb diggity. Okay. That's a phrase from back when I was a chitlin. <laughs> well, you know, eh. So we're going to be using our multi-purpose steamer to make our rice. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to need the lid for the rice. So, but when I do use the lid to cook my meat or whatever, it has the three holes in the top that let the steam out. I'm just going to put that in my soapy water. We don't need it. So the steamer comes with the lid, the steamer, and then this trivet. What we're going to do is take our two cups of quinoa, one, Two. and I have a red and white variation. I bought the red quinoa and then I got regular quinoa and I mix them together. And then four cups of water. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Epicure's Nourish Broth. Anytime I cook quinoa, rice, pasta, I always Ooh, excuse me, always add a little broth when I'm cooking my pasta and rice and quinoa because it adds such a delicious flavor. Just kind of stir that around, <laughs> throw it around, I guess. I'll put the lid on. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the trivet from inside the multi-purpose steamer and you're gonna tip it upside down, push it down. And now your uh, quinoa is completely covered I'm going to open my microwave and we're going to cook it in the microwave for 12 minutes, okay? Time cook, 12 minutes. And then while that is cooking, what we're going to do is I'm just using um, this container, you know, whatever brand you have. Um, the recipe says to mix it in a bowl, but I have found anytime you're doing something like with a marinade, whatever, right? Isn't it easier to just dump it in one of these? You put it on the lid and you do a shake, shake, shake. All right, so let's do that. So it calls for a can of chunked pineapple. I didn't have any chunked pineapple, so I am using crushed pineapple. So I put my can of crushed pineapple in there. I am using my Epicure collapsible strainer. This thing is fabulous, look. And it folds right down, but I'm gonna leave it open because I wanna wash out the pineapple. All right, I'm gonna make sure I get that little bit of juice and two cups of the snap peas, all right? The sugar snap peas, and we're just gonna put those right in there. And this is Epicure's rectangular steamer. And the rectangular steamer also comes with a lid, okay? And this isn't stained, I spilled flour sorry. And I didn't notice it until um, I was doing my live. So, all right. So I'm going to put that in the hot soapy water. So I have my snap peas. I have my pineapple. Now, the next thing the recipe calls for, I'm going to use my Epicure Prep Pro Chef knife. All right. It comes with a sheath. It is a black ceramic knife. It does not need to be sharp, resharpened. It is and I already um, spritzed my vegetables with a um, cleaner and rinsed them off. Not the inside, but nobody's touched the inside. 
Okay. So what we're going to do is just take our prep pro chef knife and back up a little so you can see. And when you are watching this video, I actually um, am going to be healing from having carpal tunnel surgery. So that's kind of exciting. So I'm doing this um, two nights before a carpal tunnel surgery so that there's nice, delicious, healthy food for me to warm up um, while I'm healing and not able to cook. So the recipe called for one pepper. I did two and I did use the orange and the green because I like to add a little color. Anytime I'm doing something, I really like my plates to look pretty. Um, I don't know about everybody out there. You know, sometimes my family teases me, make sure it looks pretty. <laughs> Um, but if it looks good, you want to eat it, okay? So, you want to eat to the rainbow. That's what um, I learned at a, like a nutritional meeting once when I was working with the nutritionist. Somebody said, I don't know if it was him or he brought in speakers that encouraged us um, when we had like monthly meetings. I don't know who it was. They said, eat to the rainbow. And I've also heard it at Epicure, so it's got to be true. <laughs> it was on the internet. <laughs> All right, so. Um, so it just says to do sliced onion. And what I'm going to do is kind of slice them. And then I'm going to break them apart in here. All right. Kind of like that. So we have some purple. We have some orange. We have some green. We have some yellow. And it is looking beautiful. And then what we're going to do, all right, so I have all that, okay, look how beautiful those colors are. Can you see how color rich that is going to be for our tropical pineapple chicken? And then we want to melt two tablespoons of coconut oil and um, All right, so now we have the oil. Um, I'm not gonna use the coconut oil, I'm just gonna use a little olive oil, okay? Because I didn't melt the uh, coconut oil ahead of time. And Epicure really is versatile in the sense that you can change it up, make substitutions, and make it work for you and your family. Now, let's see if you can see that delicious seasoning. So I'm gonna sprinkle my seasoning on top of my veggies and my onions, okay? So this is the tropical pineapple chicken. So now, the only thing we're missing, and these are my Epicure Prep Pro scissors. They are amazing. I bought my chicken, I got um, the uh, non-GMO chicken, and I already got it all sliced and ready to go instead of buying the chicken breast because when I went to the grocery store, the breast didn't look very good. So I got it already cut. So, I mean, you could buy your chicken breast, right? And slice it yourself. Um, or you could go to the store like I did today and say, ooh, that doesn't look very good. And, you know, buy it already made. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna slide it aside. Let me wash my hands really quick. And then we're gonna give this a shake, all right? So we're gonna put the lid on. The recipe says to do it in a bowl and then stir it. I'm not gonna do it in a bowl. I'm gonna do it in the container. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your chicken. Shake your chicken. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your chicken. All right. So we have our chicken. Everything's all shaken up. One thing I am gonna do, I am gonna stir a little to mix up that pineapple, because I didn't use chunk, chunk pineapple, remember, I used the crushed, because that's what I had in the cupboard. The oven is preheated to 425 degrees, okay? I'm just gonna scrape that off. And then I'm gonna get my sheet pan. I am using my Epicure full-size sheet pan. I am going to use my liner. It makes for easy cleanup and it's safe up to 425 degrees. And our dinner is 425 degrees. So 
It's not going to be warmer than what our silicone pan can handle. Now what you're going to do is spread out your chicken and your vegetables and your pineapple and the onions and the delicious seasoning. And this is definitely very different than our sweet and sour chicken. Um, I had a customer ask me how it was different, and I said, I honestly don't know. All right, so now what we're going to do is this, according to the package, because the recipe is right on the back, needs to go in the oven for 16 minutes. So let's put this in the oven. Hello and welcome back. Let's get our chicken out of the oven. Of course, I didn't grab a pot holder, so I'm going to use my new towel <laughs> from Christmas. Take our chicken out. All right. So, hey, how are you? <laughs> so, we have our delicious chicken right here. Check that out. How good does that look? Yummy. Okay, so again, this is Epicure's new tropical pineapple chicken. I have a bowl out ready. Now we also need our quinoa. So let's get our quinoa out. And underneath, I do have my Epicure roll up rack. It doubles as a trivet, which is fabulous. So you never have to worry about burning your counter. All right, so. I have my saute spoon and all of our wonderful utensils are silicone and they come in a collection. Okay, so I have my quinoa. Okay, throw that in soapy water. So I'm going to put my quinoa and I love, love, love the multicolors of the quinoa. And the chicken did cook for 20 minutes. Um, the recipe said 16, but it might just be when my pieces of chicken are bigger. I don't know. But let me show you how absolutely delicious this looks. With all those colors, the pineapple, the orange pepper, the green pepper, and then of course, um, those snap peas, make sure we get some of those in there. And voila, we have Epicure's Tropical Pineapple Chicken from start to finish, like 25 minutes. If you like it, please visit my website, lisabusky.epicure.com, Bus, Lisa and I'd love to help you place an order. lisabusky.epicure.com, and this is our new Tropical Pineapple Chicken. Delish. Thanks for watching. Hey, make sure you go join my Facebook group, Keeping It Real, Cooking with Lisa. Bye.